Are we going to become rich with meme coins? You want to know everything about them and the last information in the crypto world? Yes, let us smash that like button because it's time for crypto news fun on the right. Crypto a tope. We're still with the fever of the meme coins. We are greedy in the market, even though the most important website fighting for being in the green, Pepe, is again leading the market 62% up today. If we go to the most important ones, again, we see Pepe is in first place. So is this sustainable? Is this going to zero? Are you going to become rich with the next meme coin? Well, some people tried to short the coin and they lost their head because it still pumping. It's crazy in third position now in the meme coins category, just with Shiba Inu and Dogecoin on top of it. And we want to calculate how far can the price for this token go. Remember, we had this video, how to calculate the price of a cryptocurrency. In the future, you can watch that. But also, we found this tool in CoinGecko, link is in the description, where you can compare by market cap, Pepe here, for example, with Dogecoin or with other coin. And you can see that right now, Pepe would have the same market cap of Dogecoin. The price would be this one. So it's going to $1, $2, $10, Pepe coin. We don't think so. Uh, you can see that even though if it leads the meme coin market, it will still a long road till one cent of a dollar. So take that under consideration. Also, if we compare with the diluted valuation, we can do that. Because remember that Dogecoin has no limits for those tokens. Pepe allegedly has, but remember we said in last videos, that in the smart contract, we are concerned that they might change that too. If we compare Pepe with Shiba Inu, well, this would be the price for Pepe if it would have the market cap of Shiba Inu. That would be a 6x from its point right now. Again, Shiba Inu has no limit for token supply, so we can calculate that. But what about the market cap of Dogecoin? Because in the past, it was not like the market cap it has now. It was a lot more. It reached a peak market cap of over $85 billion. So we can compare the price of Pepe with the price of uh, the token uh, Dogecoin at that market cap prediction. That would be something similar to the market cap of USDT right now, which is number three in the market cap. And you can see that even with that market cap, with the top of Dogecoin at that point, will be with that 93x from the point is right now, we will not be even close to one cent. So have that in your mind when you consider buying Pepe. Also go to the roadmap. They have none. They tell you they have no team. They have no expectations. This is just for fun. This is a Ponce Dynamics. This is a Ponzi scheme, absolutely, where the value is just because more and more people is buying it. So remember that usually that eventually goes south and you will lose all your money. It's true that meme coins like Dogecoin or Shiba Inu still here and who knows about the future. Maybe Pepe is going to be the future meme coin. I have no clue. I'm not expert. This is not financial advice. I haven't buy any Pepe and I'm not planning on doing so. But I like to learn and understand this new mania of the memes as we had it in 2017. And you can see here uh, the chart for Pepe, crazy one. And we might compare it with the chart of Shiba Inu uh, from the very beginning. And you can see that maybe this rise we had right here at uh, the very early moments for Shiba Inu can be what we are we are having right now. And we can then expect another rise, then going down, then the huge rise a long time since uh, inception, and then going back again to the floor it has. This is the behavior of Shiba Inu. I expect Pepe 
to be something like this. If this is not like uh, the uh, Squid Game, remember that token from the TV series that was finally a pull rack and they lost everything. Be careful with that. Or maybe it's a great opportunity here. Uh, they're telling us, well, we have just around 90k holders of Pepe. Uh, we have 1.2 million on Shiba and we have 4 million holders on Dogecoin. So maybe we are early. Should we buy this token? Leave a comment below. Thank you very much. Or are we just gambling? That's my idea. You are a degenerate gambler. This is like the casino. So be careful. Maybe you are feeling FOMO because you lost the opportunity. Remember, some people make money because you lose it. People in the casino are making money because some other are losing it. Do not be the one losing money. And remember, last video we told you all the bad things we see in the smart contract and how eventually does this can uh, end really, really bad in the future. And we have this friend, Drobly Crypto, follow him on YouTube telling you that he's following the addresses of allegedly the creators of the token and they just started buying Pepe with those addresses. So that means that it was probably plan, plan like, okay, we are going to create volume ourselves. We are going to do that thing called wash trading where we buy and we sell. So we have the volume and we make interest. Also, they spend money on Times Square with Pepe there. And uh, so you can see that they are making this effort on marketing. We have marketing, uh, we have watch trading, we have a lot of red flags here with no team, with no purpose, no nothing. So maybe it's your way to the $1 million you want, or maybe it's your way of losing all the money you put in. Maybe it will go, it will go higher. And why could that be? Well, right now it's listed just in these exchanges. It's not in Coinbase. It's not in Binance. So if those list the token, maybe it will have a new rise for sure. Or maybe if Elon Musk finally uh, responds to all the Pepe community trying him to say something about the frog, he hasn't said anything about it. He has responded uh, this artist people remember about him he made fun because he created this crazy picture uh, with one of Elon Musk rockets uh, I wonder how this how does people feel about AI generation because it goes a lot into its uh, atmosphere and also why buying Pepe why not buying people <laughs> or whatever other crypto there there are thousands every day. Uh, so you might try to catch the one that is the successful one, the Ponzi that succeeds, but you have thousands of others that will be a total failure. So be careful with that. We told you on Twitter, follow us there, that there's this guy that allegedly knew about Pepe, about Bojack, etc., etc. But also beware, I'm following the account and beware of those accounts where you have to pay for that kind of signals. They make a lot of money with that. They are going to pretend they are myself asking you for money. Again, remember, I will never ask you for money or recommend any product or whatever whatsoever. So be careful there. Everything is a scam until proven the contrary. And what do we have to do we, to become rich with those meme coins? Well, we have to be so lucky or make our due diligence. We have to investigate. We have to research. We have an interesting tweet here. Uh, it's not gold, everything that shines. Maybe here you believe this is a nice breast, but it's actually a guy's ass. So be careful with that. Uh, is the risk worth? Uh, I don't know. In a bull market, Mighty Labs telling us here, uh, they often perform, it means the meme coins, the market. On the other hand, there's a high chance they will become a total failure. So it's up to you. You have the stomach for that or not. How can I find those meme coins? Here you have some links. I'm going to leave them in the description below so you can find them. Then you have to cross check the coins contract address because as we have a new meme coin, some uh, interested people will create a different one so you mistake yourself 
and buy a different thing, which is absolutely uh, BS. Also, is it a scam? Well, you should go to the official website to see if it's well made. You should check recent news about the coin. It's anything not worthy. Uh, you should look into the token distribution. Do the developers hold a large portion? And you should check if the team X docs. Also, uh, you have to check how secure the code of the meme coin is. And you have some websites uh, where you can check that. Those are the ones. Also, know the centralization level to avoid well manipulation. Remember, if the token is in a small hands, they can manipulate the market and create those pumps and dumps. Also, you need to check liquidity because maybe you believe you have the money there, but then you try to sell it. There's no liquidity and you can go out of it. Also, it's a good recommendation to research the community. Go to the coin social media channels such as Twitter, Telegram or Discord to see what the community is discussing and how active they are. Check if they have a strong following and check if those followers are real or they are bots. And of course, about pre-sales, generally speaking, they're incredibly risky. They often involve sending crypto to a wallet and having to trust the team will not rack. There are tools to listen to the risks like Pincel Finance. I leave you it in the description too. So you have some homework to do. Before buying the meme coin, you have to do this research. If you don't do it, you are gambling with less information. Again, I leave you those uh, tools, interesting tools in the uh, description below. And again, here in front on the right, we try to differentiate between investment and speculation. We believe that creating value is a very good thing. And in the long run, you'll make money. Remember some rules like do not lose money, do not lose money, do not lose money. With the speculation, uh, you can have more benefit, but also the risk is higher. So now it's up to you. And now we told you about Dogecoin Wallet, which came to life after 9.3 years. It would be awesome. Haven't forgotten that I had some Dogecoin out there in an old computer and now it's back to life. I envy that guy. And let's talk about something that has value. It's a Bitcoin. It's it's below a 29,000 amid U.S. regional back stock crash and uh, latest Fed rate hike, as we told you in last video. Here, Chal Bileo telling you that the regional bank's problem aren't going to go away. This week, we just had for PacWest a minus 77, 70, uh, 67%. Uh, Home Street went down 48%. First Horizon, 47%, etc., etc. So you can see here in the Cobius's letter, all those percentages again. And you can see that Pack West Bank, for example, is not worth just 400 million after being worth as much as 5 billion early this year. US banks are becoming penny stocks overnight. Something must be done. And now uh, he follows the story uh, with the uh, emergency statement the bank uh, released where they say that deposits outflows are not of the ordinary and that cash and available liquidity remain solid, etc., etc. This system should be changed. For the first time in weeks, equity markets are responding to the banking crisis. It went down for U.S. stocks, as Jerome Powell spoke. That's a good thing, maybe. Uh, this is the equity market worrying that the crisis might not be isolated and the Fed right hike is only making things worse. Here you have more things to be concerned about. These are total U.S. deposit banks by bank. JP Morgan with 2.4 trillion, Bank of America with 2 trillion. The top 10 banks in the U.S. currently control the 65% of deposits while the top 15 controls 75%. So you can see we are a very, very uh, small group of hands for all the money in the United States. JP Morgan and Bank of America just alone control 31% of deposits in the US. This crisis is not only accelerating consolidation of banks, but making the big banks bigger. This is not a good thing with, with they follow those uh, false 
what would happen, who will come into rescue. Up until this weekend, the rule was that a bank with 10% plus of US deposit couldn't acquire another deposit accepting bank, but JP Morgan bypassed this rule this week. It should be interesting to see how the rule changes the next week. <laughs> it's crazy and more speculation, won't more considerations. The Fed since 2021, they said rates won't raise until 2024, and then the rates hit a 16-year high this month. Second, they said inflation is transitory, and then inflation hit a 40-year high, near 10%. Third, they say this inflation began, and then inflation increased, and has been at 5% plus for 23 straight months. Yesterday, the Fed said the banking system is sound, so... Today, the regional bank stock hit a two-year low with multiple banks down 40% plus. The last two years have destroyed Fed credibility. What do you believe? Nothing anymore. Not even Jim Kramer. Again, he's straight again. Uh, he told us that Western Alliance was cool and it went down for good. The true Counter indicator. And here we have a breaking news. The Fed Chair Powell uh, holds a new conference following red decision. Of course, this is a joke created probably with AI with a different approach. Good morning. It's obvious I was lying during the press conference. Banks are, in fact, not fine. I just have to make them cheaper next time for my dear friend, Jamie Diamond, the real chairman of the Fed. Did you regards forget who appointed me? The Mango Man did, and I am a seed agent of chaos. Most of my tenure has been chaotic and historic. The first global pandemic, then my money printer's quantitative easing that you all got hooked on. Now, a recession in an election year would complete my character arc as a Bond villain. These regional banks were too addicted to sucking on my money printer. They sucked it so hard and long that they OD'd. What's God without a little OD? He's just a G. More than 100 banks died in 2008. We've only had like three so far. We still have a long way to go. I know there will be idiots who buy puts on banks in their Robinhood account and then complain that their 300,000 in gains are stuck and want to sue Vlad and Robinhood. <laughs> Vlad works for Kenny and me, okay? Your lawsuits are not going to go anywhere. When I dropped my mixtape cipher, you bulls didn't listen. Now you better hope and pray that Tim Apple saves your market. But given what Qualcomm just said in their guidance, the chances of that are skinny. You all got used to VIX being down at 16. Now you will see what happens when Vol jumps back up. You should have listened to Jam Quasson when he said that there was too much potential energy because of where the spooze was. Also, you fucks, especially you Seder, Forgot why they say, sell in May and walk away. Now don't fucking complain about Gamma being unstable or some shit. Go eat your cup noodles while you seethe and cope. I swear Bill Ackman is going to be on TV tomorrow crying about banks again. He's such a little whiny bitch. He wouldn't last a day in my world without someone pimp-smacking his stupid face. Lastly, I want to readdress that regarded journalist who asked if I had regrets. Yes, regrets I have a few, but then again... Fuck your puts. Fuck your calls. <laughs> Jay Powell has you by the balls. God bless my money printer. Good morning. Crazy stuff. And you can see also how the mouth is uh, properly connected with the audio. It's crazy. Probably AI generated. Bitcoin is still like yesterday in the line of $29,000. We'll see about that. And we have this channel. Maybe we are following since January the 1st. Uh, this channel with the bottom and the middle part just uh, it seems like anytime we go to the line we go back again and we can break this but it would be okay if we visit the upper side in the $33,000. Matthew Highland telling us that maybe that would be the situation or maybe not. The thing is that in the past since January uh, you can see that it takes seven weeks uh, to Bitcoin uh, for deciding if it goes up or goes down. The last two times it went up. We'll see for this third time. And here you have with TradingView, link in the description, uh, the behavior for uh, Bitcoin as Matthew's telling us. 
And here you have uh, these two lines, which is uh, this uh, behavior in the blue one and the orange one would be this one. So you can see that we are following more this time. And if we do this, uh, we might go as high as $33,000. If we follow this break, we might go now next week to $36,000, $37,000. It would be so awesome. We'll see the stock market gold is going down, cryptos going down, dollar a little bit high. We don't like that. We told you everything about that and a lot of charts in the last video. So if you want more about it, just go there. We told you about how we are following the orange line May 2021 again. So if that's true, we might go down to $25,000 to $20,000 as we spoke in past videos, or maybe not. Maybe with those good arguments, we will go 65% up. Here, another positive argument comes from Trading Trade Grade. He tells us that we are in this bullish pattern, this indicator uh, that says that the bottom of the bear market is here with this weight, it's a weight, it's a rising weight. So usually we have the retest and start going crazy up as we did in 2015, 2016. So we'll see if we are optimistic next week. People in Argentina, they know about Bitcoin. They prefer Bitcoin than any other thing. They are suffering inflation for good. And now they have a new bill. It's a 2000 pesos. So uh, I want to cheer all Argentines riders here. Uh, they're saying that for Turkish people and Argentinian, uh, crypto is now more than ever a solution. Uh, they are in the uh, higher rates for using crypto. Argentina is 23.5%, uh, Turkish people 271 So far, from the average, which is 11.9. Here we have the picture. You can see Turkey and Argentina, uh, Philippines too, Thailand, Brazil. Those are the ones using it more. So we'll see in the future. And more from uh, Argentina, uh, some young people develop a liquid to refrigerate ASIC miners for Bitcoin. Con congratulations on that. You can see that they are trying to avoid fiat and develop this new technology, but government doesn't like that. Neither the Central Bank of Argentina now forbidden Argentinian wallets to provide Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. Of course, uh, they are trying to control uh, the money flooding out or their fiat system. If you are Argentinian and you want to leave a comment below, thank you very much. That way we all uh, learn from your experience. And in El Salvador, more from America, Najib Bukele officially signed the bill to eliminate technology taxes. So we might go living in El Salvador in the future because in Spain, we have to do our tax report. It's not going to be fun, but we need the help of coin tracking. Link in the description, 10% off if you need one of the payment versions. This is the tool I use for my tax report. And June is here almost already. So go and do your homework. The day where we have uh, the seventh anniversary of the launch of ENS. And if you came all along to this part of the video, uh, this is something that can be very interesting for you. You can now have a POAP, you know, one of those NFTs from ENS anniversary. So go there and find it because maybe in the future, remember that uh, tasty airdrop we had from N N e ENS. Now, maybe in the future, uh, once holding this po up, we'll have another eyedrop, maybe so. Anyways, the price for that money went down and it's not recovered. So come on, ENS, I want you back again. In the DeFi ecosystem, no news today, but we have very interesting pieces of information 
like the Star Wars Crypto Toys coming uh, through Disney. Uh, we have a partnership with Crypto Toys uh, and NFTs in Disney. You can buy those digital toys for $40 right now. Also for the Metaverse, Alibaba Cloud is building a Metaverse Launchpad on Avalanche. So good news for Avalanche. We told you about one in last video. Watch them all and some interesting facts like the number of years it took each product to gain 50 million users Ireland it took 68 years cars 62 years tv 22 years youtube just four years twitter two years and poor hard 19 days <laughs> so i will see with crypto technology and if you are using brave you are uh very lucky if not just do it download it this is the one we use and now they can not only block advertisements but also block those annoying cookies and warnings of cookies that we have to consent or not consent anytime so go there i'll leave you the link in the description and just ask Brave to block this thing and forget about that for good in the future. And more about technology and WhatsApp now saying they are going to let you create single vote polls and forward media with captions. This will be in a couple of weeks. So interesting. And we have no more time. But of course, the cat section we, we have here, this cat so mad because he didn't know about Pepe till too late maybe and he wanted to be a millionaire so he's destroying his house this one just spending there sad lonely again he wanted so pepe and he hasn't got any what about this one he's not so smart he's trying to catch the next new <laughs> coin but he fails he finds a new opportunity and fail again because he's not watching fun on the right videos he's not learning that we have to prepare for the future as this rider is doing he finds a lot of obstacles and those are more and more complex but anyways it's going to be able of uh, even going through this way and make it all through let's forget about crypto let's forget about pepe and everything about it let's just enjoy the weekend and hack someone this is live you want to learn spanish watch this very same video in our primary channel fan on the right if you want more in english just wait till monday we will tell you everything about the crypto war in crypto news fun on the right health money love party in peace the best is yet to come in crypto a tope to the moon